What's going on guys, this is Shooter here, bringing you episode number one of Manga Mondays. Um, this is the, one of the new series I have uh, planned for you guys and for my channel. Um, I hope you enjoy, but this is going to be one of many uh, episodes and uh, one of many different um, things that I have planned. Um, first off, I want to go ahead and start saying that I need... Uh, I have a few ideas for the other episodes, but um, right now I'm in the process of developing those, so I need some uh, help on what, what you guys want to see. If you don't comment back, I'll just develop the ones that I have so far, and then we'll go from there, and hopefully we'll have some comments in the meantime. Um, but if you do comment and you do want to see a certain one, I will be more than willing to do that certain one. Okay, but uh, getting into it, I have um, was going to do a live commentary on this, but um, I really didn't have the good uh, uh, the ability ability to do it. Um, my camera is really not ha doesn't have really good audio, so it really wasn't capturing everything. So what I did is I, I scrapped all that audio, and uh, I'm going to do a voiceover as I'm doing right now. But um, um, as always, I started with the uh, the circles and, and the basis that I always start with, and um, um, you know to get to the place where I'm at. And I'm focusing on his his face right now and his hair because that is one of his biggest um, biggest I guess uh, attributes that everybody knows him by. Obviously, everybody knows everybody from his face, but. Um, you know, he has a unique type of demeanor about him, which is Naruto. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to get all that worked out. Um, with Naruto, um, I actually found it was very easy to draw him once you, um, once I actually started to draw him. It seemed like it might have been a difficult pose or a difficult, um, area because of the way he was looking and how he was doing it, but it was actually pretty easy. Um, you know, it, it still challenged me as always because, you know, I'm not this person that, that j can just draw from the get-go. I have to work at what I do. Um, so, uh, right now, I'm just uh, trying to get everything fleshed out and to the point of where I like it. And uh, I see that I like the eyes. I really... Uh, you know, liked some of the things in the drawing a lot, um, so I went ahead and, and darkened those lines in. Um, the uh, the the hand part on this drawing was uh, pretty strange, um, to say the least, because the uh, the hand was in a very awkward looking position. Um, but once uh, I got that position, it was pretty much um, to the point of where I needed to put the, the fingers and the hand and everything. So as you see that coming up soon, and I'll explain that more as I'm going along. Um, really, I tried to focus more on his, on his head than anything. Um, cause you know, I, I like Naruto. Naruto is, is to me one of my favorite characters and, uh, you know, I want to get him right. <clears throat> so, um, I uh, want to go ahead and ask you guys uh, some few things about the channel and where it's going. Um, I do see that the video game um, videos are not getting as much views, uh, which I don't really care. Those are just something I do for fun. But if y'all don't want to see those, just uh, just kind of let me know, and uh, I'll go from there and try to do some some different stuff. But right now. The angle of the fingers was definitely off, so I had to change them. And uh, right now, it looks like he threw, he threw something, like a kunai or something. Um, and that's why his fingers are spread apart right there. Um, but I'm not certain on why his hand is like this. Uh, but I know that it, it is a unique pose that I haven't seen before. And I haven't ever draw this, drew this pose before. So it was uh, pretty, pretty cool to actually do this... Um, hand pose I guess um, but um, 
once you get it, you have to just have reference. Look at your own hand. Um, that that's one of the best references you can have is your own hand, and you can do all the poses that you see um, with your own hand. Then then you have the best refer reference uh, possible. So um, moving on to his right hand now with the racine gun in it. Um, I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling how it was looking, so I changed the actual drawing completely and did what I I thought was best for it and uh, put a cuff on his on his right arm. <clears throat> the uh, the drawing shows no cuff, but I think it was because uh, uh, how it was looking uh, how I was looking at it anyways. But uh, and, and don't be afraid to do that. You know, this is fan art. This is something that, you know, isn't have, have to be set in stone. You can do different stuff to the art that you see on paper. Um, this is art. You know, you can get away with a lot of things. <clears throat> so uh, right now I'm just putting in the shadows and putting in some, some fast sketch lines for to mimic the shadow. And... Um, you know that that's a good way to get a good reference on what what uh where the shadows are going to be um, and, and where what what way they're going to go. Um, that's a good way to do that is just use lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, I'm wrapping this video up now. Um, if you enjoy this, there's going to be some more coming out pretty much every Monday. There's going to be a manga coming out. <clears throat> So I hope to see you guys back every Monday and uh, look for some new videos. Hope you have a good day. Peace.